Humans have migrated throughout history. People migrate for different reasons, such as reuniting with their families, seeking better economic opportunities, to rise from poverty, to live a comfortable life and escape human rights abuses, including armed conflict, persecution, and torture. However, we cannot deny the fact that being an immigrant is not easy. And as an immigrant, we must know and fight for our rights. In 2015, the number of people who participated in immigration opportunities worldwide totaled 244 million. Since 2000, the number of people who are migrating to a new country has risen by 41%. More than 30% of the world's immigrants live in just 20 countries, with the U.S. seeing 19% of the world's international migrants. In 2012, in Hersey, Jama, and other Italy, the European Court of Human Rights held the Article 3 of the European Convention of Human Rights, which prohibited torture and cruel inhuman or degrading treatment based an obligation of state parties not to expel migrants to a country where the state party is aware that the immigrants face risk of the treatment prohibited under that Article 3. As an immigrant, we must know our rights. According to international human rights norms, which are based upon the inherent dignity of every person, Migrants enjoy the fundamental rights afforded to all persons, regardless of their legal status in a state. So, what rights do migrants have? Right to life. All migrants have a right to life, and states have an obligation to ensure that no migrant is arbitrarily deprived of this right. Equality and non-discrimination. International human rights law guarantees freedom from discrimination in the enjoyment of human rights for all, including migrants. Protection against arbitrary arrest and detention. Individuals, including migrants, should not be subjected to arbitrary arrest or detention under the international human rights law. Protection against torture or inhuman treatment. The prohibition of torture is a job cogence or peremptory norm of international law which means that states have an obligation to enforce the prohibition of torture even if that state has not ratified a relevant treaty. non refoulement law, a basic principle of refugee law, refers to the obligation of state not to refuel or return a refugee. The frontiers of terrorists where his life with freedom would be threatened on account of the race, religion, nationality, membership in a particular social group or political opinion. Prohibition against collective expulsion. The prohibition of collective expulsion of aliens is part of customary international and therefore every state, regardless of the international treaties it has ratified, is still bound by the obligation for uphold the prohibition. Procedural safeguards in individual expulsion proceedings. As a part of the duty to respect and ensure international human rights law, states have an obligation to provide adequate, appropriate, and effective remedies to victims of violations of international human rights law and international humanitarian law. International human rights law requires states to consider migrants' family life and their family members in decision regarding their admissions, detention, and expulsion. Protection against labor exploitation. Migrants are protected against labor exploitation under ILO Convention, the CRMW, and other major human rights treaties. Right to social security. Article 27 of the ICRMW outlines the right to social security and notes that all migrant workers and their families, regardless of their status, have the right to receive the same treatment as nationals, insofar as they fulfill the requirements provided for by the applicable legislation of that state 
and the applicable bilateral and multilateral treaties. Right to highest attainable standard of physical and mental health. The ICRMW under Article 28 only requires state to provide migrants workers and their families with medical care that is urgently needed to save their lives on the same basis as nationals but a state's obligation to ensure the right to health is much broader under international human rights law right to primary education states have an obligation to provide free and compulsory primary education at public institutions for all children freedom to movement Migrants have the right to freedom of movement within the territory of the state in which they are located, the right to leave the state, and the right to return home to their own state. Right to enjoy culture in community with others. Under Article 27 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, migrants who belong to an ethnic, religious, or linguistic minority group have the right to enjoy practice and use their culture, religion, and language together with the other members of their community. Permissible restrictions on migrants' human rights. While the core human rights standards apply equally to migrants and non-migrants, regardless of their legal status in a country, and prohibit discrimination on the basis of national origin, there are exemptions to these rules. Migrant rights are the same as human rights. We are abused. We must fight. Do not hesitate. No one must be mistreated.